For this video, we're going to be unboxing uh, this uh, push lawnmower. So it's pull on pro. How about that? It even comes with oil. Let me just uh, get the camera on here. I should just, I mean, I think, man, I should just uh, put it uh, outside the garage. Well, the reason why we need a push more because, uh, so it's sitting here, it's bigger. Yeah. Got the instruction manuals. Instruction manuals. But it's got, it came with engine oil, which is good. Because you need engine oil for the uh, for these push motors to work if you're gasoline powered. Put that aside.
to take the instructions first. There, now it's assembled. Here's the four and a half horsepower uh, overhead valve. This is what power's at. This is exactly what you need anyway. Same with, with uh, even size wheels. A self propelled, which is uh, too costly. Specifications, engine manual. It does come with the uh, engine oil. So all you want to do is put this in the uh, move this side in here. Probably just move this in here and then put the oil in. And you can, and you can, and you'll see the oil come in. Fifteen and a half ounces, and it's oh, it's fifteen ounces. Here's where the oil goes. <laughs> Doesn't have any oil in it. That's gonna change. Reuse it. Check the oil level of any. That's that residual oil that they how to find that work. That's gonna be painting the balls. Tell you when you do this, get appropriate uh also it's, it's also figured if you get one of these, say the container. Four cycle, fairway oil. Here. 
shit. This is not gonna work. This one. Shit. Yeah, pain in the balls, but. So they're not it was good anyway. Shit. Can't do this or that. Pain of fucking balls. Gotta find some dirty weight oil somewhere. May as well as a bear fucking. May as well as a bear goddamn funnel. I'm gonna fucking buy a new one. I think I'll just stop the camera and uh, finish this up. Uh, finish uh, pouring the oil in. There the oil's in there. Yeah, I figure it's not, now it's got oil in it. So now it could be started up. But I'm gonna probably save this oil. I'm gonna save this container here. So it's time to change the oil. I could just measure the exact amount. And I'm probably gonna definitely replace the fucking funnel too. Replace that with a better one. Why that's a little bit more uh, different angled. Then I'll just make, then I'll make it easier. Now we're just throw some gas. Now we're just gonna do next is throw some gas in it and uh, see if the some of it runs. And this attached was pretty much like here. It was attached right there to the fuel, to the uh, fuel tank, to the gas tank. Here's your instructions: there, like service the air cleaner. Do you know what tells you what type of gasoline to use? Like do you know what not to use? Like this is not. Uh, this does not use 85% ethanol. You know, don't bother me. Our car don't use the car don't even use it either. Maybe because you notice. So we check the oil. This guy do now is. They might have some. They probably, yeah, I think they probably put did put the oil in it. Probably just to sit. Probably just to save it turns. No gasoline or anything. I'm just gonna throw a little bit of gasoline in here. Make sure you don't spill the gasoline. Oh yeah, don't breathe the gasoline. Fresh gasoline. Air cleaner is easy to get to.
Must be some type of overflow feature. So that might say the box, but whatever. Paying the balls. Some don't overflow feature or whatever. Mission compliant period. So, meets EPA in California regulations. Yeah, I think I said on here you could probably it says for sale in California, Canada, U.S. That's what it says on the that's what it said on the packaging. Yeah, just like I said before is only way that so Now here it goes. Okay. Listen, know it runs. Now I just gotta do is check it again and make sure that the uh just gotta check it, mate. Just gotta check, just gotta make sure the oil's checked. Let it sit for a minute or two. Let the oil settle down and then check it again. I think now we'll just uh see if the, how it works.
Just gotta remind myself, just gotta remind myself to, uh, hey, I think, uh, adjust the uh, wheels a little bit. Raise the, raise the ground clearance a little bit. Maybe give it that safety feature. And that, it pretty, it pretty much works perfectly. It'd be perfect for, uh, this, for this, for this shithole. For needs of this, for all the bottom barrel needs. It'll make it'll make all, all of this it'll make a lot of this easier to do. Especially it's always a pain in the balls doing it with a fucking weed whacker. Oh two cycle you go. Yeah, they got safety feature. I shouldn't need that. I said it was a good that sounds a good demonstration anyway. Figure you don't even need tools, this was pretty much already pre-assembled. They just uh, pack it, they just pull it up anyway for shipment. I just gotta change the I just gotta adjust the wheels on it and uh and this some bitch will probably get back out and get some road use out of it. That's good for demonstration purposes. <laughs>